How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God YouTube channel. Because of recent events concerning the COVID-19 virus, I have lost my job. I ask that you will please keep me in your prayers and while I am at home, I will definitely be uploading more videos. Thanks guys. So, a recent article appeared in the Space Plus Science section of CNN's website. This article was titled, Ancient Humans Are Having a Moment. Here are the fascinating things we've learned this week about our ancestors. This article goes on to describe a series of discoveries and more importantly, their interpretations, as it refers to our supposed evolution. Several of these studies change what evolutionists thought they knew about our ancestry. Humanity's evolutionary story needs to be rewritten again, like it always has to when new discoveries are made. The article discussed three so-called hominids, Homo erectus, Paranthropus and Australopithecus, when really this is one human and two ape varieties. According to the study, these three species, which they refer to as types of human, even though two are clearly ape, lived at the same time in the same area. Then they claim this happened. During the time all three species lived in the same area, they endured climate change as it shifted from warm and humid to cool and dry. Trees gave way to grasslands. Homo erectus simply moved on more mobile on two legs. Paranthropus had to settle for foods that were less appealing. And the time for Australopithecus was at an end. So this story that they've spun from a few bone fragments means that within their worldview, humans and now extinct apes lived at the same time. But only the humans in this story were intelligent enough to move on as the climate changed. This changes their story once again. After all, Australopithecus, you know Lucy, was originally considered an ancestor to humans, but now they've reinterpreted the evidence and believe her species was living at the same time as Homo erectus, a supposed early human. What this CNN article really highlights is the shifting sands of evolution. It's a constantly changing story. Now, many evolutionists will say that's because that's how science works. Old ways of thinking are always being discarded or refined as we discover new things. But that's really not what we see when it comes to evolution. What we really witness is an idea so great to them that it doesn't matter if the data or a new find completely contradicts everything they thought before. They just fit the story to accommodate the new data. And then they change it again in a year when a new find changes everything. Why does this model change so often? Because it's built on flawed assumptions about the past. It's a blind faith belief. It's a religion. Observational evidence actually confirms God's word. Biblical creationists are making testable predictions about the history of humanity. And the data is confirming these predictions. I would highly recommend this live stream about true human origins by Dr. Nathaniel Jensen and Ken Ham, discussing the history of the human race from a study of genetics concerning the genetic data discoveries. I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.